come for this pre-match press conference. We are happy to have you here once again. And um, before we go for the q and I would love to ask you, how did your team prepare this second match, which is already crucial for you after losing your first game in this tournament? Yes, always um, when, the, when the turnaround is uh, always so quick with uh, four days, um, the, the preparation is uh, always a, a mixture of uh, recovery because obviously the ones who played and played the majority of the game uh, have to recover for uh, uh, match day plus one and match day plus two. They have to recover. But it's also an opportunity for the players who didn't play so much or didn't play at all to to train hard the following day. So it's, it's always trying to get the, the balance and trying to get in as much of the tactical work as you, you are able to do. Well, um, I feel like the first game, we, we, know we didn't concentrate for 90, 95, 98, 100 minutes, and that's what cost us the game. Um, the most important thing for us is to come back, stay focused, be as a team, and show different qualities that we have and be more aggressive in every department and we'll be fine. I have the top belief in the, the boys, the, the staff are working really hard and I know that tomorrow will be a, a really good day for us and for Ghana. So I'm really confident and yeah. It's part of the game. Mais cela fait partie du jeu. It's normal. You, you will have some players that play at clubs that um, win most of their games. You will play you will have some players who play at clubs that um, that don't win most of their games. So a, either either a bad performance or a bad result. And the leader that has to be able to to, je suis le, le, le to concentrate on preparation for the next game. Uh, and the the important thing is is that uh, after any bad performance or result, you have to put that in the past and mentally prepare yourself um, for the next game. C'est pour cela que après une contre performance, il est important d'oublier cela et de se concentrer sur l'essentiel pour le match qui va suivre. Thank you. Questions? Uh, anybody watching the first game, um, uh, I think would have seen um, Richard making two very important saves for us. And um, this is what we expect from uh, any of our goalkeepers. Um, what we always have to assess, we, always, we have three goalkeepers with us and we have a, a very good goalkeeping coach that um, uh, mostly everybody here would be aware of. And we, in conversations, in the training, preparation for the game, we, we will make decisions. Um, but I think as regards his personal performance in, in the first game. Uh, yes, I think we were um, uh, grateful for certainly two good saves that, they, that he had to make. And this is the role of uh, any goalkeeper that plays in any team. Um, so uh, what I do is I, I very much appreciate um, the question and I also very much appreciate the levels of support um, that, uh, that I've had. Um, but I, in a press conference here where I think we're looking forward very much to the next game, I think that is something that is very much in, in the past. I think it's had a lot of uh, media uh, coverage and say so I thank everybody for the messages and messages of support. Um, but I think probably today is a day to very much look forward, look forward to uh, a very competitive game that we uh, have um, tomorrow. Um, but again, I understand the question and I thank everybody for, for their support. Question, I think the question is, is um, have we uh, identified any weaknesses in uh, our opposition um, tomorrow? Okay, so our, uh, what, what we know we are up against, we're up against um, a very good, experienced uh, team that, of course, are uh, used to doing very well in this uh, competition. You know, our um, our responsibilities are 
Um, and I know we speak about um, looking forward, but our responsibilities are to assess in our last game where we should have done better, the areas that we should have done better, and to make sure that we can improve going into the next game. Our level has to be higher. We are pl um, playing on paper, on paper, a, a very good side, a better team. So we know that our levels have, have got to be better. And like a chance. Obviously, tomorrow is going to be a tough game. Um, the boys were ready. We put ourselves in a, our own selves in a, in this situation. So we need to come out of it, and you know. We never know in football, so tomorrow we we'll, are ready, we'll give our best, we'll fight, we'll, we'll present Ghana as well as we can, put in a better performance as a team, and hopefully tomorrow everyone will be happy. Okay. I, think, I think I understand the, the question. Uh, my role as the coach um, during, to game, during the game is to, to analyse, um, to speak with my coaches that were uh, with me to um, analyze what we see on the pitch and to give this information to the players predominantly predominantly in the preparation to the game before the game and half time and what will happen is during the game there will be periods and moments during the game where you are able to get over to the players some additional uh, information some information is difficult to get over when you have a large crowd and it's a noisy atmosphere. Sometimes vocally, for something you want to get over to the players, it's, it's always difficult. But this is, not, this is not me, this is for every coach. Every coach, particularly every coach that plays in a big stadium and a big atmosphere. So we use the moments of the game to, to get over the information to the players that we can. And we can only do it in their moments, because I say, because of the atmosphere. So as regards to being able to get over any messages I need to get over, then um, yes, I will do this as best as possible and as regular as possible. And uh, this would be no different to any coach in uh, any team. Hello. <laughs>